Okay, in this video we're going to uh, uh, go over some uh, properties of the convolution integral. And hopefully, as you will no doubt recall, the convolution integral is represented like this, the operation of convolution. And the actual integral that this defines is the integral from minus infinity to infinity x of tau h of t minus tau d tau. Okay, and we're actually not going to uh, verify most of these properties. It turns out that they're pretty straightforward to verify, and these properties defend, or depend on uh, uh, the associativity, or I'm sorry, the commutativity of multiplication and the linearity of uh, integration. So the first property is commutativity of convolution. So the idea here is that x of t convolved with h of t is the same as h of t convolved with x of t. Okay, so you can switch the order in which you do a convolution and it doesn't change, or in which you put the elements that you're convolving and it doesn't change the result. Another property is uh, that uh, convolution is associative. So if I have x of t convolved with g of t, and I perform that convolution first, and then convolve that with another h of t, this is equal to x of t convolved with g of t convolved with h of t, where I do the second convolution first. So it doesn't matter in which order I perform convolutions, I get the same answer. And finally, in terms of these properties, convolution is distributive. So if I have x of t convolved with the sum of g of t and h of t, this is equal to x of t convolved with g of t plus x of t convolved with h of t. So, these are useful properties, especially when you're um, working out uh, expressions that have convolutions in them. It allows you sometimes to simplify things and at the very least to know what you can and can't do with convolution. One other, I guess it's a property of uh, convolution, which turns out to be important, particularly when you start looking at the modulation of communication signals, is what happens when you convolve a function with a delta function. And so uh, we'll actually work this one out using the convolution integral. Okay, so the question is if I have x of t and I convolve it with a delta function, and we're actually going to shift this delta function by some cap t. And we want to find out what this does, or what the output of this is, or the result of this would be. So let's just write the integral that we have. It's the integral from minus infinity to infinity, x of tau, delta of t minus cap t minus tau, d tau. Okay. So all I've done here is instead of instead of h of t minus tau, I've taken delta of its argument, which is t minus cap t, plug this in for t, change this guy to a delta, and we then get this result here. Now hopefully you'll remember 
from uh, the video that talks about integrating a delta function times another function. This delta function that we've got here, this guy is going to be 0 whenever tau is anything except for t minus tau. Or I'm sorry, for t minus cap t. So anytime tau is different than t minus cap t, uh, the delta function is 0 and the product of x of tau and the delta function is also 0. At a value of tau of t minus cap t, uh, the delta function is infinitely narrow and infinitely high in such a way that its integral is 1. And uh, the, the delta function multiplied by x of tau is going to just be x of tau uh, times this thing that has an area of 1. But because that is only um, the case when, delta, or when tau is equal to t minus cap tau, then the whole integral becomes x of t minus cap tau, or cap t. So this is actually a very important result, or a useful result, that x of t convolved with a shifted delta function takes the x and shifts it by the amount that the delta function was shifted. And again, uh, the primary, th this shows up in several different applications, but the most uh, useful one is when you're looking at modulation of signals. And we'll actually uh, look at convolutions at that point in the frequency domain and discover that it, when I modulate a signal, uh, it's convolving it with a delta function in the frequency domain. and uh, that shifts the whole frequency of the signal. So this concludes the video on convolution properties.